Hey guys, welcome to another video in our exam prep series. Today we're going to focus on specific questions related to Tableau Prep Builder as well as Domain 1. These questions are going to give you a general idea of what you need to know for the exam. You don't need to be a Tableau Prep expert. All you need is a few hours of hands-on experience, and this will be enough to become familiar with its main features and the workflow process. All right, let's take a look at some sample questions. For question number one, we need to specify which file format will allow you to save your workflow as a package, which includes the local data files. In Tableau Prep Builder, we can save our workflow as a TFL or a TFLX extension. If you're a Tableau desktop user, then you're most likely familiar with the concept of Tableau workbook versus Tableau packaged workbook. The same principle applies to TFL versus TFLX file extension. So the TFL is more like a skeleton or a framework that contains only the components of that particular workflow. And the TFLX works as a zip file that contains the workflow and any local data files. So the answer here is C. In question number two, we need to identify which data types are supported in Tableau Prep Builder. I'm going to give you guys a hint. There's one data type in this question which is not supported in Tableau Prep Builder or in Tableau Desktop. Moving on to question number three. Let's say you need to validate a column that contains city names to a set of known domain names. What is the best way to achieve this? One of the best ways to deal with this scenario is to assign a standard data role to your data. So for example, if you have field values for geographical data, you can assign a data role of city and then Tableau Prep is going to compare the values in the field to a set of known domain values and then help you identify values that don't match. After you assign a data role to your fields, you can then go ahead and use the group values option to group and match those invalid values to valid city names. For question number four, we need to think about different filtering options that are available for discrete fields. If you take a closer look at this list, you should easily be able to identify which option does not belong here. So range of values or B is one of the filter options for continuous fields. Let's take a look at question number five. When using the wildcard match to find the matching pattern in your data, which matching option will allow you to find product names containing the word recycled? And the correct answer here is C. Let's say you're working with a data set which has a field called month. It consists of five members, September, March, August, January, and then you also have another instance of August, which is misspelled. Which group and replace function can be used to correct this type of spelling mistake? In Tableau Prep Builder, we have three automatic group and replace functions, spelling, common characters, and pronunciation. Now, sometimes spelling and common characters functions are going to give you the same outputs, but they have their own unique use cases. So for example, the spelling function is best used when you're working with actual words, whereas the common characters function is best suited for fields that have specific characters, things like ID fields, project codes, and other non-sequential character strings. Let's say you're blending two different data sources together and you get the following error. Fields cannot be used from the secondary data source because there is no blend relationship to the primary data source. What steps would you take in order to fix it? This message usually means that you forgot to specify your linking fields. So the answer in this case is D. Let's take a look at question number eight. Which of the following characteristics are true about relationships? Select all that apply. And we have three correct answers here. So relationships maintain each table's level of detail. They also require you to select matching fields between two logical tables and they do not duplicate aggregate values when your performance options are set to many to many. Let's say you want to rename specific members of a dimension so that the new labels appear in the view when you create your visualization. What do you need to create? Well, you simply need to create an alias name for those specific dimension members. All right, guys, let's take a look at our last question. Let's say you created a custom map in Mapbox Maps and you want to use it as a background in Tableau. What information do you need to specify in the Mapbox Maps dialog box in order to use this map? Well, there's two things that we need to specify in our dialog box. We need to specify the URL and we also need to specify the style name. 
All right, so I want to thank you guys for your support and I want to wish you best of luck if you are planning to take the certification in the next couple of weeks. Please let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to deep dive into in order to help you prepare for the certification. 